Robert Smith, uh, one of the most successful black man, uh, African American billionaire, and he just donated like what forty million dollars to offset the student loan debt in Morehouse College. Now this is really great because it really helped a lot of individuals. I was literally in a story on CNN. Um, Mr. Elijah, he was saying that you know he used uh, the son of like nine like, kids, man, and he's the middle child, and he was one of the ones that really sparked the interest to go to college and his little brother was going to college as well and he was taking on a $47,000 in debt and he was just listening to uh, the introduction and the auditorium where Robert Smith was at and he, at first he didn't really believe it didn't register in his brain like hey man this has really happened in the class of 2019 and the fact that you know you all said his student loan debt he was able to you know take care of himself in a little way and this is a great thing to like a lot of college students because you know you want to go in first you're learning about your craft and your major debt free because that's very frustrating listening and studying a subject while you still have financial issues taking on student loans debt because they build up interest to subsidize and unsubsidize and it's gonna be a, a crazy toil man because you got demanding homework you got assignments even if you work a nine to five job as well you have to manage time and to get your work done in a fashionly manner and still be successful academically because some institutions may have uh, academic probation. And you know, some people just have like bad studying habits and all these things, man, and many distractions. But the fact that if you are like, financially secure, it really alleviates a lot of just, just negative thoughts, man. So I think this is a really a great thing what Robert Smith has done. I mean, you know, he's really not the first one. I think Natural Light Beer Institutions, they get like $10 million um, over like just different colleges and universities. And a lot of institutions were stating that in order for you to help them, you have to directly help the students. And this was a great act. Many people believe that, you know, this should be an interest, uh, inspiration for many other successful millionaires and billionaires to collectively come together and do these things but what robert smith has done uh this is a good thing for the black community and if the community as a whole the one that's pursuing higher education and you know you will be blessed even more if you just give and this is good whatever you do it for tax purposes or charity i think his intent was to give from his heart this is a really great thing and you know bless the students that's there and you know of course they, they may have gone through a little controversy of you know just uh how more houses is changing the culture in a way but to for this this is uh this is a really a great gesture man and it just made me think about like the flint water crisis or any in, individuals in different universities that have like inspiration to take care of themselves but they don't have the financial uh, means and that's gonna be very demeaning but yeah, man it's really cool man um cnn uh robert smith you can still He's still doing his thing, man. Um, you know, he's the chairman of Visa Equity and, you know, helping him financially. He was just really creating the steps in this introduction, in this auditorial speech of how young black men need to be successful. So because he needs them to be innovators in society. And I think that's a, that's a really great way to really leave a legacy, man. So that's not really being selfish in a way, man. So I was like, wow, man, this is... This is really interesting, man, in here. So we got the Michael Jordans, the Oprah Winfrey's, and then I believe like Beyonce, Jay Z did donate things to the HBCUs, and some of the money was um, distributed to other parties. Um, David Thomas was the CEO, um, one CEO, but the president of Morehouse said this is a really great thing, um, just really helping all distributing money onto the institution, and they're gonna hopefully utilize that and to help other incoming graduates as well in, a, in more household. I mean, this is good. Maybe we can have uh, other people that are really successful and have the means and the financial means to really give back to do it, man. You know, not just only for intention, but just for just the right, the right thing, just for other individuals in the generation um, after them to succeed. And this is the best way for them to get at homes, um, they'll be able to, you know, stand on their two feet, to be independent. And it just really, I think this is this gesture here is gonna help individuals my state. Like it's gonna shift their paradigms. Like, hey, you know, maybe I want to go to college. Like, you know, I want to, you know, study law. I want to study history. All these things. And because if I know that I'm gonna really get a guaranteed job, that's something else in the in the market. But a lot of people kind of stay away from college because it's too expensive. Now some people they have scholarships. Only a certain amount of scholarships can cover uh, tuitions um, a semester. But this is a good thing, man. Um, 
FYI, I'm very proud of this. Uh, to the, the young college students out there that's graduating, hopefully they will utilize degree, um, things that they major in and from Warhouse, and they can come in and just, you know, just be creators. And that's what it's all about. But it's your boy, Young Lee Jr. I'm going to have it link in it in the description box to the article. You guys can read that. But Robert Smith, this was a really great thing, man. I really don't have no problem with this. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, see if you have any concerns. And yeah, guys, take care. I'm out.